What's up friends, in today's video you'll learn how to install KeePass on your iOS device so that you can access and manage all your passwords on the go. Enjoy! Okay, so before we start, if you haven't watched my last video on the desktop version of KeePass, you should definitely go ahead and check that out first, because creating and organizing your database is a lot easier on a PC or a Mac. But if you already know your way around KeePass and you want to save some time, there's one more thing you should know before we go ahead with the tutorial. I have created a composite master key in my other video for the desktop version of KeePass, which adds another security layer to our database. Using this method, we need two things to access our database. A password and a key file. Now, why is this important? I've uploaded my entire KeePass folder to Dropbox so that I can access it anywhere. But the key file that is needed to open my database is only stored locally on every single device I want to access my database from. In case someone gets inside of my Dropbox, they won't be able to access my database even if they know my database password. They would still need that key file that is only saved locally. This is a great way to make sure your database is accessible from anywhere and at the same time protected from others. As some of you might know, copying files from your PC or Mac to your iPhone is not as easy as it should be. Although you can synchronize most things using iTunes, things become kind of complicated when it comes to transferring other types of files. Since we already have our database inside of our Dropbox, we just have to install Dropbox on our iPhone to access it. When it comes to the key file though, just as I've said before, you don't want to upload that to your Dropbox. In a perfect world, you'd transfer that to your iPhone using a cable so that no one gets a hold of that key file. However, I haven't found any easy way to do that and that's why I'll be using the iCloud Drive for that matter. By the way, you should have different passwords for both your iCloud and Dropbox and also make sure to activate two-step authentication on both systems for maximum security. Okay, so go ahead and open up your browser on your PC and navigate to iCloud.com. Enter your Apple ID and your password and then click on iCloud Drive. Now find the key file that is saved locally on your PC or Mac and drag it to your iCloud Drive. Open up the files on your iPhone or iPad next and go to your iCloud Drive. Move the files to your local storage, make sure everything went fine and delete it from your iCloud Drive so that no one else can access or download it. Now that we have access to both our key file and our database, we can finally install KeePass on our iOS device. Go to the App Store and search for KeePassium and install it. Open the app and add an existing database. Navigate to your Dropbox and choose your database file. Tap on your database and enter your password. Then tap on the key file and browse to your local storage to add your key file. Unlock and you're greeted with all your database entries. Let's adjust the settings so that you don't have to enter the password every single time you want to open up your KeePass database. Tap on the cog icon in the lower right corner and choose App Protection. Enable App Lock and choose a pin to unlock your database. Make sure to also enable the Face ID feature if it isn't enabled by default already. If you don't want to use Face ID, you'll be able to quickly unlock your database using the pin you just entered. You should also make sure to enable Protect Database and set the timeout to immediately so in case someone enters a wrong pin, they will have to enter the full password again. The last thing we have to do is set up the autofill feature. Just follow the steps that are shown here. Open device settings and tap on passwords and accounts, and then tap on autofill passwords and enable that feature. Select KeePassium here instead of the standard keychain and you're almost good to go. Let's install Instagram and try the autofill feature. When you open up the app, instead of typing in your credentials, go ahead and tap on passwords. Allow Face ID for KeePassium if you haven't already and complete the autofill setup. Once again, you'll have to add your database and as soon as you did, you'll be greeted with all your entries for Instagram. Choose an entry and it should fill itself in automatically. It didn't work the first time for me personally, but after tapping on passwords one more time and choosing the appropriate entry for Instagram, everything worked out nicely. You can of course also add new groups or entries to your database. Just tap on the plus icon in the top right corner and add another entry. You can choose from previously used usernames and create randomized passwords based on some settings you can choose from. You can also edit, move, copy or delete entries from your database and they'll be synchronized with your Dropbox database automatically. In some cases, you might want to copy your password straight from your database. Choose the entry and tap on your password and it will be saved for you to paste it anywhere you want. I really hope this video was helpful for you and if you still have any further questions, then please let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one.